Hey, Sean Cable here. We finally made it to the weekend, and the weather's going to be pretty decent. Actually, perfect if you're going to be traveling, but, you know, if you want to go skiing or you just want to whoop it up in the snow, probably not so great. In fact, I don't know if we'll be able to do that for... Uh, quite a while. Check out this weekend forecast. 34 partly cloudy Saturday, 38 and partly cloudy on Sunday. The wind backing off from the stronger wind that we had over the last couple of days. And it is definitely cooler. In fact, let me take you back. I want to show you the uh, last couple of weeks here. We have had incredible numbers with highs in the 40s, I think uh, one, two, three, four, at least five of those days with high temperatures in the 50s. So, yeah, it is definitely going to feel cooler here as we make our way into the weekend with these mid to upper 30s. But that is still above average for this time of year. In fact, a pretty good distance above our average high. We had some rain yesterday with that system that went through that cold front. It's now pushing off to the east. Uh, about 16 hundredths here at the TV station in North Mankato. Henderson did get a little more, about three-tenths of an inch there, but we were generally in that uh, tenth of an inch, some places up to two-inch ballpark. Now, to the west, high pressure going to be kicking in. That's going to blow some of the clouds out of here and uh, keep us fairly calm through the entire weekend, but still above average. Our average high for this time of year is 27 degrees, but look at the next seven days. We are going to be well above average for this time of year, and one of the big reasons for that is that we just have zero snowpack, and snowpack has a tremendous impact on temperature this time of year. In fact, the air mass that we have over the top of us right now is pretty typical for this time of year. But a day that, you know, when you compare snow to no snow, if you have a snowpack, that can knock the high temperature for a day down by 10, even 15 degrees compared to a day where there's no snow on the ground. And actually, the reason for that is that... It's called albedo. It's the sun's energy reflecting off of the Earth's surface and back into space. And when we have a fresh snowpack, about 80 to 90 percent of the radiation or sun's energy that we get is just reflected off the snow and goes back out to space, gone. Uh, but as you know, we don't have much in the way of snow on the ground. So what happens at this point is that I'd say about 70 to 80 percent of that sun's energy is actually absorbed into the ground and only about you know 20 plus percent is reflected back into space so we have all that extra energy being absorbed by the ground we don't have snow which is cold in itself and helps keeps things a little uh cooler so a big difference from when we don't have snow to when we do have a snowpack and that's exactly what's happening now and unfortunately i don't really see much of a change to that our long-range models keep us dry right on through next week and beyond and that brings up another issue we are getting to the point where we do need some moisture we are at uh, dry conditions in Mankato but just to the south and east we're already starting to see moderate drought further southeast Albert Lee Forest City Mason City we're talking severe to extreme drought already so if we don't get some moisture soon Things could go downhill really fast when it comes to uh, drought conditions across much of southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. And I wish I had better news, but there just isn't much with this 10-day forecast. Above average temperatures in the 30s to near 40 through the weekend and most of next week. I think that we will see a clipper system bop through here late Wednesday into Thursday of next week. And that will bring maybe a quick burst of snow, but not much more than that. Followed by slightly cooler temperatures. Keep in mind... By uh, late next week, our average high will probably back, be back up to around 30 degrees. So by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, temperatures will be a little below average for this time of year, but still dry and uh, still very low-key weather pattern that's going to carry us basically through our next 10 days. And even longer range, I don't see much in the way of uh, any major weather systems or anything like that that could impact our area. And I know a lot of folks are looking for snow. So uh, we will be watching. There's still hope. We're not done yet. We uh, last year, if you remember, we had snow February into March and even a little beyond that. So there's still potential, but things are uh, things are starting to wind down. Uh, March and April is getting closer and closer. So enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the uh, cooler but warmer than average weather for the upcoming weekend. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great weekend.